How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Collecting Collector's Editions over here at Everything Nerd. So today, we have a very special episode, um, and we are going to dedicate this episode to Kevin Conroy. Um, we all know who Kevin Conroy is. He was the voice of Batman in the animated series, and as well of a host of many, many other animated movies and games, including Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, um, usually opposite Mark Hamill as the Joker. And uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be doing the Gotham Knights Collector's Edition, right here. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the game. Um, it's definitely no Arkham City, it's definitely not Arkham Asylum or even Arkham Origins. But it still does have its moments. Um, I just don't think that they know what they want to do with the story, you know, post no Batman. So with that being said, I still do recommend playing the game if you're a fan of the Batman and the Bat family. But if you're not like a dedicated huge fan of Batman, I would definitely go and get something else. And uh, like God of War or, or something but highly recommended for any uh, fan of the bat. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and slip this cover off. Actually, let me show you guys the box. There's everything that comes with it, including a couple in-game skins, like for the bat cycle and all that. not too sturdy of a box it's a pretty thin box it's a throwaway item um i got my kershaw it doesn't look like the box is taped either it's not taped it's not good usually boxes are taped yeah this is definitely a throwaway box um Okay, so starting off, typically um, collector's editions come with the steel steel case. Um, this did not, it's just the regular PS5 game case, um, which is kind of disappointing. It does come with the, actually wait, what is this? This is the Art of Gotham Knights book. Not that many pages in it. Oh, this is the... Okay, so the art is the book. Or is the case, I mean. Okay, that's pretty cool then. And then here is a Gotham City map, which I'm not going to open up because it looks to be a poster map of Gotham City, which means it's paper. So... Will not be opening that up right now just due to time constraints. And there we go. Pretty standard packaging for items like this. city button you guys all know i'm a fan of these i put them on my national metal day poster and then i don't know what this is oh it's just the certificate of authenticity mine was 7469 out of 20,000. i pre-ordered it pretty early i mean i was going to get this game no matter what Batman is probably my favorite superhero. You should never cut towards your body. Okay, so this seems to be a pretty standard PVC statue. Um, it's got some pretty good detail. 
it's definitely going to go up on my Batman shelf. And then it comes with all of their weapons that we can, uh, and that's pretty cool too, that you can take out their weapons. Come on. There we go. Red hood. Batgirl doesn't come with a weapon. Oh, she does. This is her weapon. Maybe. Oh, yeah, because her dad's Commissioner Gordon. So, of course, she would use this because she'd probably, you know, pulled it off her dad's police belt as a kid. You know, when uh, my daughter was a baby, I would, uh, I went to school for phlebotomy to get my CPT-1 license. And I used to bring home all these medical supplies. And uh, for the longest time, my daughter wanted to become a doctor. weapons are a pain in the ass to get through. It's almost like they don't fit. I may have to draw out their hands a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, now let's see if we can get... Okay, I'm really not liking this part. Yep. So Robbins isn't gonna fit. Um, that's horrible. Uh,
Yeah, this isn't gonna fit. Oh wait, it's going, it's going. There we go, jeez. Okay. So there they are with all their weapons. I mean, I, I do like it how you can pull the weapons out. Uh, when Horizon Zero Dawn first came out, I got the collector's edition and my kids snapped the bow out of uh, her hand. Actually, they snapped her whole hand off <clears throat> with the bow. Um, so I do like it that these uh, come out, but I mean, I know that they're not ever going to fall out. But at the same time, man, that was a pain in the ass to get in. And um, I feel like if you pushed in the wrong direction, you would break it. But there we go. There is the statue. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not the most exciting collector's edition I've ever gotten. Um, I'm probably going to give it a, a 6 out of 10. Mainly just because I think the statue is cool. Um, and even though the art book game case is, is a cool concept, I still like my steel case, um, steel case games. And, uh, you know, I am a huge fan of Batman, so that was incredibly hard for me to give that a 6 out of 10. Um, I mean, the statue does have some mistakes in it. You can see some um, defects in the painting. Uh, I mean, it's not a crappy statue by any means. I've had crappier statues. But if I'm spending $300 on a collector's edition, I do expect my statue to be perfect. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm still excited. And this is still going to go up on the bat shelf. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. You know, thank you for all the childhood memories that you have provided millions of us. You know, there was a whole Bat Army because of your rendition of Batman and Bruce Wayne. And, uh, you know, if you guys get a chance, if you're a huge fan of the Bat, um, go check out the game. Um, the main reason why I don't like it is just I'm not a huge fan of the combat. I was a huge fan of the combat in the Arkham series. And I wish they kind of would have brought that back and just gave everybody their own little twist, but they didn't. It's a very basic combat system. Uh, no combo meters or anything like that. So I was kind of disappointed in that aspect. But uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And uh, I hope to see you again soon.